to the Celtic Republic in the road to 56. So we're basically just holding down here in Brittany and I don't think they can actually push in. They do outnumber us, uh, us pretty heavily, but let's see how much this... Yeah, we're heavily outnumbered. But I don't think there's much they can do. We have a very sizable navy lending some support down here. We don't have air superiority, but we still have the planes for that. And that's what the and that's what the rest of the allies giving us a hand. Like we're contributing most of the air power in the region, but you can see how much just how much more the Germans have. Are also naval invasions threatened in Ireland, the Isle of Man. But I don't think they're going to be able to get pa get past our fleet. The thing is, we have a lot of old ships that we actually use very much we don't have any fuel so yeah a lot of the um playing as england a lot of the industry is concentrated in northern england we had almost none to start with we're also at war with the weeds and a few other the northern defense front who are also at war with the soviets this has kind of gone off the rails already, but I'm going to keep at it. Well, Sweden has capitulated, and so has the rest of the Northern Defense Front. There's nothing I particularly want from any of this. Maybe? Nope. Don't have enough. Here I really actually care about this. There's nothing there that's worth anything. Hmm. It's kind of like... Workers are... Iceland. That'd be interesting. You know, after I get this defend the Union in 20 days, gives us extra recovery rate and defense on core territory technique. I might go for breast oil industry to get an extra refinery and fuel silo, or go with substitution technology to get an extra refinery and a, a research bonus to, to fuel production. Probably going to go with the refinery one because probably go with the substitution one because that's going to be in Lothian, which is around here. So basically, we'd actually be able to hold, we'd be more likely to hold it. Like, I know the Germans can't really push through us at the moment, but I think that sooner or later they will be able to. God, all our ships are getting 
wiped. So this one, this guy, need to do with them. Ground pounder, big guns, cruiser, light cruiser, destroyer. Much capital ships there. I might just go with um safety first to make it less likely to get hit by. I do like this. If it's, if it's, if critical hits happen, they're not going to be nearly as as bad, and they won't happen as often either. Now the Irish naval forces are currently. to engage at low risk. Not a lot of submarines, so... Tours doing her thing. Subs doing sub things. Spread them out a little bit more. Yep. Scout ships, they're just they're just doing recon things. They're set to never to not engage at all. Just find find the find the enemy and let and let the big fleets take care of it. Probably the best way to do this. I call this destroyer training. I'll name it the first escort. Here, Lairwick. Gun voice down. I'm actually okay with. This is a defeat because it didn't sink anything. They didn't sink anything here. I'm okay with that. Never enough fuel. We are using at least three of these on. Um, Importing oil. There's got to be a better way to deal with it. Uh, yeah, I can do here. Way down here, I guess. I'm gonna get rid of the close air support and just go straight and just go all in on fighters. We need them. We are gonna be losing a lot and I'm probably wasting a lot of our have um plus maybe. So many factories that we just don't have the ability to spare. Please as well. Got to defend the Union, which means 
we're gonna have even more here. Well, the English Raj has sent the Camel Corps plus some infantry divisions to help us here. Thanks. Let's see. Enough um and here to change these uh, infantry division. Four hundred and forty five which means I might want to change one or two of these that aren't in combat right now an armored infantry that should also help with the and with the anti-air issue as well our ships are shooting up there at their close air support so that helps but we're still terrifically Let's see, I, it's going to screw up. So, leave us on the description. Oh, they're starting to push. I, act, I think I actually had better results when I... Ooh, this is not looking good. Oh, well, it'll last for another. Basically, they're just going to take forever to push past us. I think we can do it. Convoy escorts, that'll. Ooh. Doctrine. Or organization, that works fine. Enough. Oh, another naval invasion of of Scotland. I don't know what they think they're doing there. I'm trying to land on the Faroes. Okay, we're starting to hold them back now. Yeah, I'm not sure they can they can push. It looked like they were going to, but it's we're just dug in too well. We don't have a lot of manpower, so I do need to start saving it. Six hundred and sixty. Damn it, it's gonna be a basically just choosing one of these at random to choose, upgrade to the better one with the armor on it. The ships are. Yeah, we just ground pounder it is. Destroyer leader, buff up those destroyers.
It's my Queen Elizabeth. Crap, we are losing a lot here. I think they obviously got anno sufficiently annoyed to bring out the big fleet. But we got another task force coming to the end. Okay, what did we lose there? Yikes. I know they're old destroyers, but... Still on the ships. No, oh, I'd say we did a fair amount of damage in return. Like... Didn't make it easy for them. Now I need to start building more ships. Or do I start designing another cruiser type? I think we're going to start designing a new cruiser. Battery. Speedos. Radar. Anti-air, torpedoes, back down. And who will? Even sons. Already have this. They call the safe place. That's just. Well, our submarines are doing a fair, fair amount of work, and so are the, so is the English fleet. So, do I want to go with... Go with for this guy. Organization first? I think so. Whereas General Wimberley is still an infantry specialist, which means we get an extra 5% attack and defense, but once he gets up to, what was it? Just need to get up to skill level six to actually buff that up, but yeah. I think we'll get there eventually. Let's see anything. Supply consumption, that would be well, that only affects our land troops rather than our navy. Sorry, going on this. They have. How many troops do they have just sitting here, not able to do anything? All right, Queen Elizabeth, you are getting into, into the dockyards. Was so Boudica, Aureus, do not have nearly enough duck.
fuel do I actually, well, do I need to actually use all this? I can't work that out. Yeah, this is, looking at this now, I'm not sure if I've made invasions of West Scotland. In hindsight, close air support was a bad idea, so I found this wing in time and close off the this production line, which means they're going to go straight into this. That's a few extra factories here on. From planes, like we're producing what? Nearly six a week, but it's still not enough. Do not have enough factory. So we're trying to lose planes, remove planes from it, from England and the English Channel. That might be good. I wonder if they're getting starting to get prep. Someone into the, the administration because we're to be. Yep, we lost one of our cruisers. I which probably one of our recon cruisers got hit. We still apparently have naval supremacy. How long is that gonna last? It's gonna be good factories. I think it's gonna help. Some victory. Plus, don't avoid that. We really do not need to lose. Newcastle and do Stopped um, going after. So, Orkney, the Scots. Yeah, we were briefly gaining fuel there. More. I'm just upgrade these two. There. Now we're going to be short, but you guys, if they have.
more do I need? 93, so we're going to be short of... This for four. This bridge will last 30 days per end. We can go with this. That will help. Sorry, first industry. Now, trying to get that. You have some extra. Rubber refinery at four resource outputs. Need that. Need fuel refining as well. So in about ten days, we should. Days we should have. Should be able to get. Oh, we can get this now. So. Fuel gain for oil. We suddenly have air superiority now. They must have pulled all their fighters away to... They must be prepping for a, the attack on the Soviet Union. Plus, Greece has fallen. Setting up a naval base. So, did putting anti air on our units actually help with that? And I spoke too soon. Offer, I think. Strange nation. What? First, there's that one. Oh, well, and that's our auction completely filled out. So, instead of lands, so I'm going to go with them. Naval auction. Because we still have a lot of those to fill out. The French are trying to push into into back into France. I suppose they do have to try. And of course, still trying to. Monster. Uh, and the amount of mission for our take this, but there's not much I can really do. This these are design we own. So that these are uh, to store these convoys. To build a few more subs and put the navy. I don't really ever bother using anything but subs. Would actually. There's not much I can do with these fighters, so I've pulled them back over to Plymouth to get to re to rearm, re-equip, and hopefully just stop. Hemorrhaging troop, hemorrhaging air. Honestly, nothing much I can really do about it. I mean, if 
they have they have air superiority here. There's nothing I can really do about that. But in hindsight, building the close air support from the start was a bad idea. We'll save those factories into creating more of these. Also short of aluminium. So, I'm going to leave this episode here for today. This is... Honestly, I just can't play the naval game very well. In this. And we just and we can't get air superiority over. We do not have the factories. We don't have the... Anything, really. And... Make it a lot more likely we're going to capture equipment. We are starting to gain fuel back, which is probably because we've lost a hell of a lot of ships and planes, and we don't, and our army doesn't use all that to begin with. But yeah, at the moment we're on the back foot, but we haven't lost. Okay, I'm going to leave it there then. See you in the, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.